Hey, what's going on guys? It's AJ. Today I want to talk to you guys how to get your first car if you're in high school or if you're in your 20s. Not a lot of people talk about this on YouTube, but I'm here to talk about it. Uh, if you guys don't know, I started off with a really cheap car. My first car was like $2,000. I bought it off my sister. And the reason why I bought it is because everybody else in high school, they were uh, buying cars on the car loan. You know, they were getting like $30,000 cars. Their parents were putting it on a loan for them, but they were paying like $300, $400 a month for them. And when I would go through school, uh, and, and through my jobs, I would see like people my age, they had a car loan and they had to work to pay off their cars. And I think that's a, a, the most stupidest decision, most stupidest financial decision you can make as a teenager, because why are you gonna put yourself in so much debt? Like you don't deserve that. If you're 18 and you just got a $300 car payment, it's gonna be so much harder for you to like, you know, uh, get into a, a comfortable apartment and pay for all your other things and, and just be like financially smart. It's not a, it's not a good decision. So I'm making this video uh, to teach you guys how to make a way better financial decision. And that is by buying a car on Facebook Marketplace. The reason why I wanna do Facebook Marketplace is because this is where all the cars, the that private sellers sell their cars for really cheap and you can get some really good steals on it. So let me just jump right into it. Um, so I'm just gonna screen record this. Let's go on Facebook Marketplace. Okay, so uh, here on Facebook Marketplace, if you don't have it, uh, the Facebook Marketplace uh, at the bottom, all you need to do is go to the menu and then if you scroll down, you should have a Marketplace app right here and you, sh you should be able to like apply for it. But uh, this is what you wanna do. So obviously you wanna set your location. I'm right here in Houston. And then what you're gonna wanna do is look for vehicles. Uh, the ones that I typically like to see are, are uh, Hondas and Toyotas for your first car. Cause you also wanna think about your budget. If your parent, like I, I had somebody who, who told me, oh, their parents are gonna buy me a car. They're gonna give me 30 grand. Well, if you have 30 grand, then you got a way, you got like a big budget. You can get like any car you want. Especially if you get it on Facebook, that's a super steal. But the whole goal guys is to buy a car cash with very little money so that you don't have to have a car payment and when you do work you can save it all for an apartment or you can save it all for an emergency fund uh but what i typically like to see is you want to look for your first car to be around seven to five thousand dollars because you're gonna see these cars on facebook you see this one for example three thousand dollars it's too cheap this means that either the car is very very effed up <laughs> which you don't want or the car is just really old um, this one seems like the seller is just selling a really old car. It, it's not a clean title. So that's the first thing you guys want to look into. Uh, when you're looking at these cars on Facebook, uh, for example, like these Civics, you want to see right here on where it says about this vehicle, it needs to say clean title because that means the car doesn't have significant crash history. So that is the only cars that I buy. I only buy clean title cars. I don't want, you can get a salvage title. It means that the car was crashed before and somebody fixed it, but why would you, like, you're in high school, bro. You don't got time to be fixing up your car. Unless you're a car guy, then go buy a really cool car that's salvage title. But just so you know, you're not gonna be able to resell the car later. And that's kind of the whole point. You wanna start with a cheap car, then you're able to resell it on Facebook again, get your money back and, and get something better. But yeah, let's stay away from uh, those uh, rebuilt titles. So let's say that this one's a pretty good price. You wanna see cars that are listed at around 7,000 because no no, no one in their right mind is gonna list a, a good, really good car at $3,000. Like why would you sell a car for three grand? You'd be selling it at like at least five, right? So this one Honda Accord's a pretty nice one. Uh, this one has really low miles. You wanna get a car that's at least 150,000 miles or less. Anything more than that, you're just risking the car just like being a bad car. Um, See right here doesn't have clean titles, so I wouldn't even, I would not even mess with it. Um, look, this Toyota Camrys are really good cars. Oh, this one has 420,000 miles. Okay, wait, he says at the bottom, 450, but engine has been replaced. Mm, yeah, see, I wouldn't do that, guys. So look, I can't find any cars here. Let's search up Honda Civic. These are really for good first car, uh, first car guys. Uh, see, look, these are too cheap, bro. I don't even like bother. I don't even bother looking at these. Okay, look, this one's listed at 5,900, okay? Four-door hybrid, okay, so it saves gas. Okay, look at here, guys. This is a perfect example. 111,000 miles, guys. This is exactly what you wanna see. You're gonna see right here, it says clean title. Vehicle has no significant damage or problems. Vehicle's paid off. This is a perfect example, guys. Look at the pictures. Make sure that the car doesn't look like it's been crashed or damaged. Look at the inside. Look how clean the inside is. It looks like they actually care about the car. This is an awesome car, guys. Perfect car that to buy. Look, it says clean title, clean history, hybrid battery, already been replaced, so that's good for you guys. You can save money, low miles, AC works great. This is perfect. So this guy uh, 
Mimod, Amon, uh, you would just message him and all you would tell him is, hey man, is it a clean title? Um, why are you selling the car? Uh, can I get more pictures or can I get a video? And then everything works well, guys. All you need to do is get the cash in hand. So this, guy's wants, this guy wants 5,900, he wants six grand. But when cars are usually listed at this price, I know damn well, guys, if you bring the cash in hand to the person, with five thousand dollars or just a thousand dollars under what they're asking they will take it because you're there you already have the money they'll take it so remember everybody lists their car a thousand or two thousand dollars more than what they really want for it but since we're already around five he'll probably take five for it uh so yeah you would just message him and then um that's pretty much it like you that's this is what you guys need to do this is this is like the first step to financial freedom right like why why do you want to waste your time why do you want to waste your time with the car loan if you're just going to be working a job? You know, at McDonald's, you're making 15 bucks an hour. Walmart, you're making $18 an hour. You're going to be making $800 uh, a month. Why spend four to $500, you know, three to $400 on a car loan? It doesn't make any sense. And then you're going to be paying it for four years. No, the whole point is let's, let's um, take the cash, buy it. You have no car payment. You have a good working car for the next few years until at least you get a better job or you start a business. And that's it, you know, like it's really, that's the best step, to, that's the best thing that you guys can do. Now, let me tell you guys uh, real quick, how do you want to register the car if you don't know how? The car in person, he's gonna have a title. The seller's gonna have a title. You're just gonna wanna have him sign it. You're gonna sign it. And then once there's both signed, technically the car is yours. But you're, what you're gonna need to do now is you're gonna need to go get uh, an inspection on the car so you can go to any auto loop store. They'll do it for $20. After that, they're gonna give you this little paper that says the, uh, the you passed the inspection. You put it in your glove box with the car. Then you go get uh, car insurance. Uh, actually, you're gonna wanna get car insurance before the inspection because the inspection people are going to ask for the car insurance so you get the car inspection uh the car insurance all you do is call the car insurance company you tell them you, your social security number so they can identify you and then you just tell them how many miles you drive the car tell them 2,000 miles yearly that you drive the car that'll make your uh, insurance really cheap and if you can if you're under 18 go with your parents because they can put you on their car insurance and it'll make it really cheap for you but if you're 18 go ahead and get your insurance i use uh usaa but if that's because i'm a military member so uh and then after that you have the car title signed you have the uh inspection done you have the insurance now you can go to the dmv you put you bring in all those papers with your id and then you're gonna pay a sales tax uh in texas it's about six percent so if it's a five thousand dollar car you're paying like 300 bucks and then you pay for like the the uh, license plate and what they do is they transfer your title they're gonna send you a new title in the mail and they give you the stickers to put on your windshield they put the license plate you put them on your car and you're literally good to go that is your first car for five thousand dollars this is the most financially smart way to start out if you're in high school this is what you want to do alternatively if you have you know five thousand dollars or you only have three thousand dollars yeah go buy a cheaper car but just know that there's risks in getting a really cheap car uh but also you guys can get a loan on a car but i just recommend if you're gonna get a loan guys don't get a twenty thousand dollar car loan get a ten thousand or five thousand dollar car loans trust me they they will finance you a seven thousand dollar car five thousand dollar car your payment will be like 150 maybe 200 dollars. that is a that is the best thing ever but uh, that's how I got my first car. Uh, I bought it cash and then what I did was literally trade up cars I, I got my first g35 for like two thousand dollars bought it off my sister it wasn't running went to go fix it for around It was like 800 bucks. So I spent like almost three grand on the car I listed it for like six months later on Facebook for five thousand dollars I made two grand I used that five thousand dollars and with the month with the two grand that I saved from another job I was working I spent seven thousand dollars on a g37 it was clean title, really clean, drove it around for a few months, listed it on Facebook for nine grand, sold it, made two grand. So now I have nine grand. I bought a C3 Corvette in Almogordo off Facebook Marketplace for nine grand. Then a few months later, I sold it for $14,000. So I made five grand. And then I just kept doing that. And I eventually got it on my Mitsubishi GTO from Japan, $20,000 car, super expensive, but I didn't spend $20,000 to get the car. If anything, I spent like two or three. Uh, but that's the best way you guys can do it. Um, my next video, I'm going to show you guys how I traded up cars and how to do it yourself so that you guys can, once you get your first car and do this, you guys can slowly transition to better cars, better cars. And now you're going to not have a car payment and you're going to have any car you want for very, very little money. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, if you guys need any more advice, uh, I do a lot of advice for high schoolers and people in their 20s. Uh, follow me on my TikTok. We got uh, 120,000 followers. Um, I'm going to be posting more here on YouTube. So subscribe if you like this. And um, 
check out my links in my bio. Uh, and yeah, guys, I hope that helped. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. This is Angel, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs>